Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you watched my last video, welcome back to this outfit and this spot. Same day, Jenna. So, last time I saw you, or you saw me, or whatever you want to call it, or however you want to say it, I did my January uh, wrap-up. And now it's time to figure out what I'm going to be reading in J in February. So I'm kind of going a little crazy this year or this month. I have five books on my TBR, and we all know how last month went. Like I only read one book on my TBR, and it was a book I was already started. So might be a little ambitious, but it's fine because. I am feeling much better about how long it's going to take me to read these books. I'm feeling good about these books. I'm excited about these books. I'm feeling better about my life right now. Overall, just better, you know. So, let's get started with this stack of books that are on my lap that you can't see. So, the first book is one I am already starting. Like, I've already started. And I'm very close to finishing. It is... The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And I don't have the dust jacket because I left it at my father's house. And not preparing to film this video for some reason. So, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Y'all, I am a fantasy noob. I, I couldn't even call myself that. Like, I don't know anything about fantasy. I never read fantasy. I read Shadow and Bone. That's about it. Um, and now I'm reading Addie LaRue. And I'm loving it. Okay, guys? Loving it. Stay tuned, my for my February wrap up because I'm probably gonna be like saying a lot about it. I get why a lot of fantasy readers don't like this book because there's not a huge fantasy aspect. Like obviously it's a big part of the plot, but it's not like boom, 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 fantasy, magic, monsters, fairies, drag, what, you know? It's not that big and it's not a fake world. It's this real world, just magic kind of thing. Um, but I'm here for it. Okay, I think this is my kind of fantasy. Yeah. So, I'm about 70% done. So, very excited to finish this. Um, yeah. The next thing I'm going to be reading is, a, for a reading vlog, it is Layla by Colleen Hoover. Because I've never read this. Don't know why. I always say this, but I'm always late to everything. I read Verity and liked that one. I don't think I loved it, but I, I did enjoy it. And obviously it's Colleen Hoover, so like I love Colleen Hoover. I actually, I feel like I've heard mixed things about this book. I know it's crazy though. Like I know it's, 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 it's a thriller. So, um, but I'm excited to read this one and I'm going to be taking this along with me for it. It'll be a journey, I can already tell. And then the last physical book I have with me that I want to read um, is The Maidens by Alex Michaelitis. I read The Silent Patient and loved that one. And I know this one's quite different from that one, but still really excited about this one. Um, I meant to read this as a group buddy read with some of my friends. You know who you are. I'm sorry, I just, for some reason, couldn't keep up with the... Um, pages and buddy read and I never even finished this so I'm glad to be in back and able to read it though it's not even that long so I don't know why I couldn't kind of do it but gonna do it today gonna do it today y'all or not today this month so that's all the physical books I have with me that I want to read the other two that I planned were ebooks and I don't have them with me obviously because they're ebooks, but Heartstopper volumes three and four. Oh my gosh, I plan on reading them in one sitting, just like I did the first two. I loved the first two, so I'm really excited to see how the third and fourth go. I don't really have much to say other than that I'm really excited and I'm loving the series, and I know a lot of people who. Okay, that's a lie. I know one person who didn't like it. Just saying. But a lot of people love this series, so I'm glad to have finally jumped on the bandwagon and read Heartstopper. Look at me doing trendy stuff. Um, 
Now that I think about it though, I also have Sadie by Courtney Summers kind of on my TBR. I started it in January and then I don't, I said this last time, but I suck at listening to audiobooks. So I'm not really even really picking it up or like pressing play or anything. Not really focused in on it when I'm listening to it, so I don't really know what's happening. Might just return it early and just stop reading it, like make it a DNF because I, I don't want to count it because it doesn't count. Um, I feel like I'm just like, uh, but I want to count another book for my TV or, or for my goal, but what's the point? Like, I, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you what happened, so I don't think it counts. So, if, don't hate me if I said I should want to count it last time, I'm not going to count it. But that's everything on my January, February, oh, I keep saying the wrong month. That is everything on my February TBR, and I hope you enjoyed it. I am feeling good about this month as far as reading goes. I know it's like the shortest month of the year, but I'm feeling good. So stay tuned for the wrap up. Really excited to see how it goes. If I actually read everything on my TBR. Last month I did a I did pretty much just mood read. So I'm hoping to stick to my TBR this month. Ah, I feel like I should have like a dis uh consequence if I don't, if I steer away from my TBR, because I do that too much. Do it too freaking much. Anyway. Bye! <laughs>